So in the following video, I will demonstrate you the way how you can troubleshoot flows. And specifically for the flow, like in each org, there might be several types of org, like a flows, right? Per object, a um, couple, uh, couple flows can be assigned to one specific object, but you never know how many flows can be assigned. So the best way to troubleshoot or explore the way you can see how many items are assigned or flows are assigned to per object is with Flow Trigger Explorer. And the way you find it, it's actually in the corner of the flow. So if I click on a flow, you can see that I have 75 flow in total in my specific org. And on the right top corner, you can see there the Flow Trigger Explorer, which you can click and explore all the existing flows, right? So once you click that button, you should be able to see uh, the specific, for example, the account object. You can see how many flows are there uh, specifically on created action. So in here, I have one action, that one flow. It's called create flow follow up on new prospect. So that will basically run after save. So once account is created. So let's see if I have any any other flows on update. Yeah, as you can see, in this section I have uh, another flow called update status and related contacts based on account activity. And it's currently active. So uh, if I had several flows on that specific action on the update, that would be showing up here, but that's not the best practice. So let's see if I have anything else. On delete, I have nothing. So I can switch it to a different object. In this case, let's go with account lead. Let's go with lead. On the lead, on created, I have one flow called check new lead for match account. And it's currently inactive, as you can see on the right section. So that's the way you can de debug and see where which flow is triggering the action uh, for troubleshooting purposes. You can refresh or can you, you can do some filtering. You can see if you just don't want to see uh, uh, in, uh, uh, active, so you just can click on that filtering button. Or you can just select different, maybe some of them can be part of package, some of them can be unmanaged package. So that's the way you can see. If you want to quickly open up the specific flow that you actually found, you can click on this section and click edit order. Oh, I didn't even know that you can actually um, put the order, different order. So let's go and see and you can open the specific flow from here. And let's see what this action or flow specifically does. So as you can see, the flow is assigned on lead and it triggers when it's created so we can see we have specific several actions one of them get records then it will go and go and update and then it will actually post a, uh, a chatter on account owner and then after that it will just email okay yeah guys so that's the way you can go and explore what flow is assigned to what object. Thanks. If you want to check out the difference between flow and other automation tools in Salesforce, check my other video that will be displayed on the right section. Thanks.